Hey y'all, welcome to GI Week here at UWorld. Uh, let's jump right into our first NCLEX question of the day. Our question says, the nurse is caring for assigned clients. The nurse should first assess the client with what? So notice the word first is in bold here. So we are looking for our highest priority, um, the client that's at the biggest risk, the most ill, something like that. So option one says uh, cholecystitis who has a rigid abdomen. And this is going to be our correct answer. So cholecystitis is inflammation of the gallbladder. And when we experience a rigid abdomen with this, it indicates that our gallbladder has ruptured, which um, can cause peritonitis, sepsis, those kind of things, um, probably gonna require surgical intervention. So this is gonna be our highest priority here. Uh, option two says a bowel obstruction who has faint bowel sounds. Uh, this is an incorrect option with a bowel obstruction. Um, things aren't moving like they should be. We're, we have a blockage somewhere, right? So we're not expecting to have really active bowel sounds. Um, faint bowel sounds would be normal when when our intestines aren't moving like they should be. So, um, you know, obviously we wanna check on this client, but not first. Uh, option three says a client with cirrhosis who is reporting amber colored urine. Um, again, not our correct option here. Uh, cirrhosis is that that inflammation of the liver, that kind of end-stage liver disease. Um, with cirrhosis, we have difficulty um, getting rid of bilirubin. So we have a buildup of bilirubin in the body that can show up in things like urine, amber-colored urine, um, yellowing of our sclera, our skin, you know, kind of those jaundice signs. So we'd, we'd obviously want to give this client care as well, just not first. Um, and then option four says a client with peptic ulcer disease who is reporting epigastric pain. Um, with peptic ulcer disease, we have um, that excess acid in the stomach that kind of eats away at the lining of the stomach. Um, just talking about that sounds painful. So we can expect these clients to have epigastric pain, um, maybe worsened with certain foods and, and whatnot. So we can definitely um, do some interventions to help that, but um, definitely that gallbladder rupture is, is highest priority here. They're definitely the highest risk. So we'll see y'all tomorrow for another question.